Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your computer in 2019. Uh, I will show you how to optimize your uh, computer for Windows and also uh, for uh, gaming purposes. So let's start with Windows update. First of all, a lot of people don't do that. Make sure that your Windows update are up to date. So you just like click on the check. It will check for you and you as you can see i'm up to date this will download all the thing that you're missing currently on your computer uh, chipset driver sound driver even graphic driver so uh this one really important to do before doing anything else after that the game mode go to the search bar right game mode oops sorry game mode uh, I did a lot of tests with game mode and honestly I didn't get any boost and it caused me some issue when I was streaming and playing with video games So honestly make sure that you're putting this one at off. You can do testing on your part, but uh, I don't see the purpose for right now and a lot of people did benchmarking and comparing the same game game mode on or off and It's not concluent. <laughs> so honestly just remove it the game bar also remove all those record game clips, screenshot and stuff like that. Make sure everything is at off. It's taking resources on your computer and it can like make you lag or drop FPS and stuff like that. So just remove all those stuff, game mode and the game bar. After that, performance. So right in the search performance and click on the appearance and performance tab. Uh, as you can see, this is all the visual effect on Windows. So if, if you have like a, an old computer, a laptop with an integrated video card and stuff like that, just press adjust for best performance. So you will remove a lot of like shadows, uh, animation and stuff like that. Um, and you will see that your uh, computer will be more like snappy when you open stuff, close a document and stuff like that. So remove all those fluffy thing and get the best performance on your computer after that make sure you apply and press ok after that power we will choose the power plan uh, this one causes a lot of issue for a lot of different people it's mostly people who's recording video when they're playing or streaming uh, for an, as an example for me the Ryzen balance I can't use that one with my Ryzen processor when I'm streaming I'm lagging like crazy so I'm using the balance recommended by Windows I did a lot of testing with the balance one this is the best for me when I use the art performance I'm getting a bit um, like 7 to 10 uh, points uh, increase on Cinebench but honestly I didn't get anything else so uh, and it was a bit weird when I was streaming so I prefer the balance recommended one uh, so do your test on your computer but technically with the balance you will be fine very important for people with laptop I don't know why a lot of people have that issue uh, you have the uh, balance um, you have the power option when you're using the battery and you have the power option when you use your uh, cable and you plug in the wall uh, a lot of people are getting like the saving energy uh, option when they're plugging their computer and they're losing a lot of FPS because the, 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 the CPU doesn't go to the maximum boost, GPU the same thing, etc. So make sure that you're using the high performance one when you have a laptop, really important. After that, video card driver. So for me right now I have an NVIDIA, so I right click on the NVIDIA logo and I open GeForce Experience. So make sure that you're not ju you're not just using the um, Windows Update, but you're using the uh, GeForce Experience or Adrenaline if you have AMD. Click on Drivers, checks for update, and as you can see, I have the latest driver right now. So really important. Uh, and also when you buy a new game, sometimes like Nvidia will release new driver one day before the game or the day after. Uh, really important because you will gain trade ups five to ten percent. When you update your driver so this is something really important to do when you buy you will play a new game um mostly triple a games honestly so that's about it for the drivers now remove startup so Control alt delete go to task manager after that go to startup this is all the software that i'm in, will be uh on my windows when i start up my computer so enable means 
they are enabled right now and disable is because I disabled the status so the, the software will not launch a lot of people are you guys have uh, I saw a couple of people complaining his computer on oh, my computer when I boot it's really slow and I have an SSD I don't understand why and uh, when you look at the startup they have like 16 software so all the stuff that you don't need when you, you launch your computer just disable it by right clicking on the software and press disable okay uh, don't disable stuff that you don't know what they are doing. So just maybe Google it before just to make sure. But uh, you will see the startup and pack with Windows. So is it high, low, etc. And you can modify your stuff with this. So yeah, that's about it. Another thing is a lot of people are saying that when I open my computer, it's very slow. And you're asking them, do you have an SSD and they don't have it? Make sure you have an SSD. It's pretty cheap right now. You can do a small upgrade with 128 gig for like 50 bucks and uh, just install your Windows on the SSD and maybe one or two game like your main game. For, for an example, if you're playing uh, Apex Legion and League of Legends, you install them over there. You will see a big increase in your performance, not necessarily with your FPS, but more like when you open the game, it will be faster. When you're loading a map, it will be a lot faster. So this is really important. Honestly, SSD will make a big difference for you. After that, overclocking. I have two guide right now on my. Uh, I will just reopen MS Afterburner. I have two guide right now on my uh, YouTube channel. You can see how to uh, overclock a CPU and how to overclock a GPU. For the GPU, uh, I'm using MS Afterburner. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more core clock and memory clock. So honestly, for uh, overclocking, you can gain like five to seven percent without like any effort. You just overclocking a bit. Do your test and you should be fine don't touch the voltage and stuff that you can like break your computer or your cpu or gpu it's more like a small overclocking that you can gain like a nice boost and um, you will be fine with that so if you want to see how to do that on your gpu and cpu go to my uh, channel you will see i have a video for uh, processor and i have a video for graphic card so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig so cpu gpu and ram and ask me the question that whatever you need and i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to my channel peace everyone